Hello and welcome to Inside IT from the technology experts at Intel's own IT department. In this podcast, we talk about data visualization. We live in the era of big data. And big data comes with big challenges. One way business intelligence strategy is helping to turn those challenges into opportunities is data visualization. My name is Dave Schaefer, and I am the business intelligence architect for our IT customer capability organization. David Schaefer defines data visualization as simply a visual representation that effectively communicates information. And we find that they're absolutely critical to enable users to see trends, patterns, and other relationships that can provide actionable intelligence. But making intelligence actionable is a great challenge with these huge volumes of data. So this deluge of data can prove to be overwhelming as business users struggle to analyze, to interpret, and present information in meaningful ways. But it's not just the volume of data. Volume is one of what Schaefer calls the three V's, volume, Velocity. Velocity is key. The business is looking to gain rapid insights to their information. And these data exploration tools help address that need. And the third V, variety. You've got enterprise data warehouses, you have data marts, you have transactional systems, you have spreadsheets, you have third party data sets that you might have access to. These data sets might be structured data, they might be unstructured data, or even semi structured data. And so the ability to connect to a variety of these data sources and then explore that information, visualize that information, all of this will give you the greater insights you're looking for. Now, without modern data visualization and other self-service BI capabilities, business users depend on IT to model and analyze data for them then provide any visualizations. It is that dependence on IT that has slowed down the business or slowed down their ability to make decisions. They're expecting answers to their questions immediately and they can't wait the traditional six months for a solution to be delivered. It's a situation that just couldn't continue. So Intel IT embarked on a journey to investigate the various BI visualization tools in the marketplace. Schaefer says they then looked at different Intel business groups, examined common use cases, and developed a list of key capabilities they needed in data visualization products. On the whole, I'll say that there is no one specific product that meets all of our use cases. So what we have today is a collection of data exploration tools and technologies, some from well-known BI vendors, and some we've actually created on our own with custom visualizations that we've created with HTML5 and, and JavaScript libraries. And we're utilizing these technologies to meet the use cases we have identified with our business groups around data exploration and data visualization. Schaefer says the visualization tools allow users to connect data from a variety of data sources, corporate data sets, local data sets, spreadsheets from local machines or mobile devices. And then as you've connected the data together, many of the tools actually start to suggest visualization types to you, such as the various chart types, bar charts, pie graphs, uh, line charts, etc., heat maps. And they essentially coach the user through answering the questions that they're in interested in. So a user might want to find out how were my product sales for a specific product in a particular region of the country here in 2013. And as they pick and choose the data elements from the data sets that they've mashed up, they can use the visualizations to represent the information. With the complexity and volume of information and the variety of visualization tools available, Schaefer says it's important to apply the right tool to the right job. He says that's where the idea of the data visualization continuum comes in, a continuum that starts with standard tools. Your line charts, your bar charts, your pie charts, that most BI vendor products provide out of the box. As you move across that continuum, you get to advanced data visualizations. These advanced data visualizations are really about the exploratory data visualizations. They're the ones that enable the user to visually explore the data, to discover the meaning, patterns and trends, and gain those key insights. Then you get to statistical data visualization. This is an area where the skill set needed to utilize these visualizations is very different. Typically, this is where your statisticians, your data scientists, play. At the far end of the continuum, you get into niche cases, or big data visualization. And this is when 
you need to visualize large sets of data or you need to create custom visualizations that perhaps the BI vendors don't provide out of the box. Looking ahead, Schaefer says he sees several areas of near future development in data visualizations. One is visualization extension. Several vendors are now offering this ability to extend their existing visualization library. With these visualization extensions, these vendors are providing SDKs that we can utilize to create custom visualizations that our user community can leverage to gain insights. Another trend is putting these libraries into visualization marketplaces. That are made freely available or in some cases for purchase. Again, it provides greater agility and velocity when we can take advantage of these extended visualization libraries in the marketplace and not necessarily have to create our own. And Schaefer says he's also excited about the evolution of data discovery technologies that make the average user more powerful. The market is moving toward reducing the technical skill set needed to gain insight from data, making it easy for everyone, not just your data analysts or data scientists. So with the progress in natural language processing, and interactive visualizations, users without any specialized technical knowledge or skills can simply type a basic question and receive a, an automated response that provides them the insight they need. With data visualization and other self-service BI tools, it's not as if IT no longer has a role here. Schaefer says that role does need to change and adapt to user needs, however. We want to ensure that as they're doing their exploration, the insights they gain are accurate. And so with IT focusing resources around modeling information so that it is readily available and easily understood, it enables not only for the business to move quickly, explore that information and gain those insights at their pace, but it also ensures IT is providing governance and compliance with the data and with those insights. And as these data visualization tools are developed and deployed, David Schaefer says they play an important part in the continued evolution of IT. If we truly achieve self-service BI and we truly adopt data exploration activities, what this really means for IT is we can now reposition or retarget our IT resources that were previously creating all of these visualizations for the business and now refocus their efforts onto greater value add activities. That does it for this edition of Inside IT. If you'd like more information about data visualization or anything IT related, go to www.intel.com slash IT. While you're there, you can sign up for the Intel IT Center for regular updates on IT topics, third-party research, IT-focused events, and more. For Inside IT, I'm Paul Landcore. <laughs>